Hi, I'm Josh, here to answer your copyright questions. What is YouTube doing about all these manual content ID claims for short snippets of content? We know some of you are seeing an increased number of manual content ID claims on very short patches. We know this can also affect monetization and who's receiving the revenue being made from the video. To address this, we're now requiring claimants to add timestamps to these claims so you know exactly which piece of your video is being claimed. We've also updated our editing tools so that when you remove the manually claimed content from your video, the claim is automatically released. This will also restore monetization to your video if you were previously monetizing. So where can you see these new changes? You'll want to check out the Video Copyright Info page in YouTube Studio. You can access the page by clicking on View Copyright Claim Details from the video list. At the top of the page, you can see high-level information on how the claim impacts your channel, monetization, and the video's playability. Below are details about the claim on the video. You can see what content's being claimed, who the claimant is, the newly required partner-provided timestamps, and see if the claim was manually made by the claimant. You should also get an email notification when a claim is made that leads directly to this page. So what are the updated options I can take to remove the claimed content from my video? Mute all sound when the song plays. If you get a claim for a piece of music in your video, you can now mute the entire timestamped segment. Replace the song. If you don't want to mute the audio entirely, you can choose to swap out your audio track with one of our free songs from the YouTube audio library. You can now view the claimed segment in the preview player, so you can position the tracks in a way that will remove the claim from your video. Trim out the content. You also have the option to cut out the timestamp segment from your video using the trim feature in YouTube's editor. This can all be done from within YouTube Studio. Check out more info in our Help Center linked in the description below, and be sure to check out the other videos in our copyright series linked here. Thanks.